What's up you guys? Welcome back to Mo Money's channel. Today I brought you guys a little 30 minute recipe. So this is for all my people that are always on the go or like too tired and you don't want to make a big ass meal. This is a very easy and fast meal. So today I'm switching it up a little bit for you guys. I'm making fettuccine alfredo. Fettuccine alfredo is like one of my favorite pastas you guys like i love italian food and fettuccine alfredo is like one of my faves so this is a quick little easy recipe so let's get it started you're going to need butter you are going to need heavy whipping cream uh, i don't really care about the brand uh, whichever brand you prefer but this is the brand that i got you will need fettuccine pasta you will need garlic you will need Parmesan cheese. Please use the fresh one. Do not use the one that comes in like um, that little container thing. Like please use the fresh one. The, the fresh kind is like the one you need to use for the fettuccine. You're going to need olive oil. You're going to need chicken breast. And whenever I make fettuccine alfredo, I always like to eat it with a salad on the side and with garlic bread. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start boiling a pot of water. Please do not put your noodles in the pot until the water is actually boiling. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a garlic clove. Since I'm making a lot, I'm gonna use about two garlic cloves, but if you're just making like a little bit fettuccine for maybe like a couple people, then I would just use one garlic clove. So first we're going to take off, um, I don't know if it's like the, sh if you call this the shell or um, the skin or whatever. I don't know. I'm going to start Googling shit because I'm always just saying stuff and I don't even know the name of it. But anyways, so this is like the easiest way to take off the shell. You don't want to like completely smash it. You just want to like smash it a little bit. And the shell comes off a little easier. See? Now we're gonna do that with our second garlic clove. We're just gonna hit it a little bit. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mince our garlic. You want it super, super minced. Like, um, you want this to be almost see-through. So we're gonna chop it up super, super fine. So I'm gonna do one by one just to make sure. All right, guys, this is what your garlic should look like. You see how fine it is? So now we're just going to save it. All right, guys, so my water is boiling. So now it's time to add the pasta. So I'm using two of these boxes just because there's a lot of us. But if you're a small family, you typically only need one box. But, you know, we're a big-ass Mexican family with, like, 20 fucking people. So we're using both boxes. Also, what I wanted to show you guys, I kind of messed up already because I already threw the pasta in the, um, I already threw in the pasta in the pot, but what I recommend is when your water is boiling or when it starts boiling, I, I recommend for you to add a little bit of oil just so that the pasta doesn't stick to the pan. So I do recommend that you do this when it's boiling before you put the pasta in, uh, like I said, I messed up because I already put it. I already put the pasta in, but it's no baking. So I'm gonna just add a little bit. I'm going to add garlic salt so that it gives the pasta a little flavor. So I would recommend that you let it boil for about 12 minutes and then come back and check on it to see if it's done. Now my chicken is already chopped up. I cut it into like slices like this. Um, really you could chop it up however you want. But I kind of like mine small. So whatever you prefer. Um, I chopped up about three chicken breasts. 
So now I'm gonna start seasoning my chicken with my all-time favorite trio. You guys already know. So we're gonna start with the Lori seasoning salt. And however much salt you're gonna add, you guys, is like how salty you want your food. The next thing I'm gonna add is the garlic salt. And I'm going to add black pepper. So now I'm just mixing up my meat, making sure that it's evenly seasoned. All right, guys, so now I got my pan heated up. Make sure you wait that it heats up and then you add your oil i'm gonna add a little bit of um olive oil to my pan and this is where i'm gonna uh, basically grow my chicken also give the oil a little bit of time to heat up before you put in the chicken okay so now i'm gonna add my chicken Okay, so to start cooking our sauce, we are going to need butter. So we're gonna start out, if you're just making pasta for maybe about three or four people, then you only need one fourth of a cup of butter. If you're making it for more, then I would just double it. So I'm actually gonna use, um, I'm going to just double up the one-fourth because I'm making a lot. All right, guys. Now my butter is nice and melted, so now I'm going to add the garlic to cook the garlic with the butter. And I still have my chicken. It's almost done. I like to have mine a little bit grilled. I feel like it gives it a little more flavor, but it's almost done. Alright guys, the next step is we're going to use our heavy whipping cream. Now, if you're only making it for a couple of people, you only need about one cup. Since I'm making a lot, I'm going to start out with two. I possibly might add more, but I'm going to start out with two cups. So I'm going to do two cups. And this is the first time you will ever see on Mo Money's channel me measuring anything that's how you know this is like something new for me okay so i don't feel like it's enough so i'm gonna use about one more cup so i have three cups in total Okay guys, so I used about three cups in total in case if you guys have a big family like me and you wanna make sure there's enough for everybody, I'm using about three cups. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my Parmesan cheese. And you guys, make sure you keep stirring um, your sauce because you don't want it to get stuck or get burnt. You wanna make sure it's cooked evenly. Okay. Again, if you're making it for just a couple people, you're only going to need three-fourths of the Parmesan. But, since I'm making more, I'm going to double it up. So, on the cheese, I think I'm just going to, like, I'm just going to eye it. Uh, I'm not really going to measure it. I'm just going to eye it. Alright guys, so I ended up putting the whole thing of, um, I ended up putting the whole bag of cheese 
there is there's a one fourth of a cup in this bag just so you guys know so i put the whole bag in and then i'm gonna taste it to see how it tastes if i feel like it needs more cheese then i'll add more cheese so right now this is what it looks like so i'm gonna stir it until the cheese completely melts but please keep an eye on your sauce you guys do not walk away from this because you need to continually keep stirring it all right, you guys, so now I'm putting my garlic bread in the oven, and I already preheated it. For the garlic bread, um, I don't, I didn't make it at home. I actually bought it at, I actually bought it at Save Mart, but usually grocery stores will have, like, garlic bread made, and all you need to do is just put it in the oven. So that's what I did today, just because I'm making a fast recipe. Um, so really the garlic bread is just up to you wherever you want to buy it from And also if you do buy your garlic bread at the store, it'll come with this with its own instructions if you guys are wondering um, How you cook it or how you bake it and when you're trying to melt the cheese you guys and you're cooking your um, Sauce, I do recommend that you whisk it So you just keep whisking it until the cheese is completely melted all right, guys, so now my sauce is done. Once the cheese melts, let it stand with the fire off, of course. Um, let it stand for about three minutes just so it could thicken up a little more. I have already let mine stand, and I already put um, most of my pasta in the, pa in the pan. Not all of it fit. I had, like, this much left. But anyways, so now we are going to... Pour this over. Mm, this looks so fucking bomb, you guys. I want to eat it already. Alright, you guys. So, what I'm doing now, um, I already mixed everything together, but I'm just adding a little bit more Parmesan. So, I'm just throwing a little bit on the top, just so it could melt. So, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put the cap back on, and I'm just going to let it sit for a couple minutes. Um, also what I wanted to tell you guys if you guys want to add When making your when making your fettuccine alfredo, I told you guys I only used one uh, Parmesan cheese or one bag. I actually ended up using um, the half of the other bag so I used a uh, so I used a full bag and then I used half of the other bag and then again um, in each bag there's one fourth of a cup. So you don't have to add more cheese if you don't want. It's really up to you. If you feel like you want it to be more cheesy um, or you want a little more flavor in it then you can add more cheese. Um, I recommend that you taste it before you add more cheese to see if you like it or not. So now we're just waiting for it to melt because your girl is hungry and I'm ready to take my little fetish bite for you guys. Look at my babies. They're just trying to see if anything's going to fall for them to eat. Not today, homies. All right, guys. And this is the finished product. All right, you guys. This is what my plate looks like. And don't judge your girl. You already know I eat fucking tapatio with everything. Alright guys, so now I'm going to do my fetish bite for all my freaks. Mm-hmm. Sorry, right, guys. Alright guys, and that completes my 30 minute fettuccine alfredo. I hope you guys like my recipe as much as, much as me and the fam did. Now it's just a little basic quick recipe. So to all my little fellow Italians who follow me, if you guys got a little more bougie or recipe or like a fancier recipe for alfredo, um, go ahead and send it to me. I always love learning how to make um, new Italian recipes um, or even the legit way of making fettuccine alfredo. But this is super fire, you guys, for it being a fast meal. 
Um, I hope you guys like it. Tell me what you guys think about my recipe in the comment section. Send me your pictures, you guys, of the stuff that, of the food that you guys make. You guys know I always love when you guys show me your pictures. Um, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching Mama Money's channel.